Breaking news, Chinese Coast Guard fires water cannon at a Philippine supply vessel near Ayungan Shoal. The West Philippine Sea is a vital trade route, rich fishing ground, and the front line of a sovereignty struggle. Filipino fishermen, who have worked these waters for generations, now face intimidation from massive Chinese vessels. This is a David and Goliath struggle on the high seas. The Philippine Navy and Coast Guard patrol tirelessly, escorting resupply missions to outposts like the BRP Sierra Madre. China employs gray zone tactics, coercive actions just short of war, to intimidate and assert control. It's a battle of presence and will, but also of capability. The time has come to change the rules of the game. A new capability is needed to truly deter and defend. The human cost of this standoff is immense. Filipino fishermen return with empty nets and stories of harassment, chased by steel-hulled ships, blinded by lasers, blocked at sea. Every trip is now a gamble, the once prosperous fishing grounds turned into a zone of anxiety. The Philippine Coast Guard and Navy are on the front lines, protecting maritime territory and citizens. Resupply missions to Ayung and Shoal are met with dangerous maneuvers from Chinese vessels, water cannons, near collisions and constant intimidation. These brave men and women operate at a disadvantage, their ships are visible, their moves anticipated. This transparency is a liability in a gray zone conflict allowing the adversary to control the narrative and set up blockades. The Philippines is forced into a defensive game on a tilted board. How can a nation defend its vast maritime domain against a larger power without triggering war? The current strategy, surface patrols, is proving insufficient. What's needed is a tool that introduces surprise, a weapon of deterrence that operates unseen. The Philippines must be able to hold an aggressor's assets at risk, forcing them to think twice. It's time to shift from reactive defense to proactive deterrence. The answer lies beneath the waves. For decades, Philippine defense focused on what's visible, surface ships, aircraft, land forces. But the threat in the West Philippine Sea has evolved. Control of the undersea domain is now crucial. Submarines are a strategic necessity, stealthy, silent, and unpredictable. Even a single submarine can force an entire naval task force to change its behavior. Imagine a Philippine submarine lurking beneath contested waters. Every enemy ship becomes a potential target. Submarines act as silent sentinels, holding high-value enemy assets at risk. The time for a submarine force is now. The nation must act before the window of opportunity closes. Amid this urgent need, a solution emerges from Europe. Italy's Fincantieri offers the U-212 near-future submarine. The U-212 NFS is among the world's most advanced conventional submarines, representing a generational leap in undersea technology. For the Philippine Navy, this is a potential game-changer, a chance to acquire top-tier capability from the start. Fincantieri's proposal is more than a sale. It's a strategic partnership, backed by the Italian government. The package includes submarines, extensive crew training, technology transfer, and a support base in the Philippines. This ensures the Navy can operate and sustain its new force for decades. The U-212 NFS builds on the proven German design Type 212, already in service with Italy and Germany. The NFS version features significant upgrades, new combat systems, advanced sensors, and enhanced stealth. It's designed for the complex, shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific. For the Philippines, this is a unique opportunity to leap ahead. The U-212 NFS would instantly elevate the Navy's capabilities, transforming it into a modern, three-dimensional force. It sends a clear message, the Philippines is serious about defending its sovereignty. This is a bold step toward a more secure future. The U-212 NFS's true power is its ability to disappear. Its advanced air-independent propulsion AIP system based on hydrogen fuel cells lets it stay submerged for weeks, silent and undetectable. Traditional diesel-electric submarines must surface often, making them vulnerable. The U-212 NFS can patrol vast areas unseen. It's equipped with next-generation sonar, advanced sensors, and a cutting-edge combat management system. The submarine is a lethal hunter, armed with Black Shark advanced torpedoes capable of destroying the largest warships. Its endurance allows for long-range, long-duration missions, crucial for patrolling the Philippines' vast maritime domain. A single U-212 NFS could travel to the farthest reaches of the West Philippine Sea, remain on station, and return undetected. This persistence provides a constant, unseen deterrent. The U-212 NFS is also future-proof. It can deploy unmanned underwater vehicles and be upgraded with next-generation missiles. 
It's not just a platform for today, but a strategic asset for decades. For the Philippine Navy, this means long-term security and relevance. The investment will pay dividends for generations. The U-212 NFS is a silent guardian for an uncertain world. Fincantieri's offer is more than two submarines. It's a deep strategic partnership. A comprehensive training program will prepare Filipino crews with classroom, simulator and hands-on experience aboard Italian submarines. Technology transfer is central. The Philippines won't just buy submarines, but gain the know-how to maintain and upgrade them. Fincantieri will help develop local capacity, sharing technical knowledge and maintenance protocols. A local submarine base and sustainment facility, likely in Subic Bay, will be built with Philippine companies, creating high-skilled jobs and stimulating the economy. This facility will handle maintenance, repairs, and upgrades, ensuring operational readiness. Local industry participation means much of the investment flows back into the Philippine economy. The program is an investment in national security and development. Building a submarine force also builds a new generation of skilled professionals and a robust industrial base. This vision of self-reliance and shared prosperity makes the Fincantieri offer stand out. It's a partnership designed to empower the Philippines for generations. The future is built together. The Philippines' geography, over 7,600 islands, deep trenches and shallow littorals, demands a versatile submarine. The U-212 NFS is compact and highly maneuverable, ideal for both deep ocean and shallow coastal operations. Its advanced sensors are optimized for the warm, complex waters of Southeast Asia. The AIP system allows it to remain submerged in hotspots like the Sulu and Celeb Seas, conducting clandestine surveillance. Strategic choke points like the Luzon and Balabac Straits can be controlled by a silent U-2112 NFS fleet, creating a defensive barrier. This sea denial capability is a cornerstone of modern naval strategy, something the Philippines currently lacks. The submarine's endurance matches the vastness of the Philippine exclusive economic zone. It can patrol distant waters, protect resources, and deter encroachment. In every respect the U-212 NFS is tailor-made for the Philippines' unique needs. It's the right tool for defending the archipelago. The future of Philippine maritime security starts here. The Philippines has several submarine offers. France's Scorpen, South Korea's KSS-3, Spain's S-80+. Each is capable, but the Italian U-212 NFS stands out. Its platform is proven, serving as the backbone of the German and Italian navies. The AIP system is the quietest, and most advanced, offering unparalleled stealth, crucial in the West Philippine Sea. Fincantieri's offer goes beyond hardware. It includes technology transfer local job creation, and a sovereign sustainment capability. This aligns with the Philippines' goal of self-reliance in defense. While other offers include training and support, the Italian package is the most integrated and empowering. It's not just about buying submarines, it's about building a force and an industry. The U-212 NFS is more than a weapon, it's a foundation for the future. The Italian partnership is a strategic leap, not just a transaction. The choice is clear for a nation seeking true maritime security. Acquiring a submarine fleet like the U-212 NFS marks a new era for Philippine security. For the first time, the Philippines would have a credible deterrent against a superior adversary. These silent hunters force aggressors to recalculate risks, shifting the nation from defense to deterrence. A stronger navy strengthens alliances and enhances the country's role in regional security. The submarine program is also a catalyst for national development, creating jobs, fostering innovation, and building a sovereign defense industry. Self-reliance in military hardware is a strategic imperative. Ultimately, this is about securing a peaceful, prosperous future for the Filipino people. Fishermen can sail without fear, resources are protected, and sovereignty is assured. The challenges are immense, but with the right tools, the Philippines can prevail. The U-212 NFS is not just an option, it's the next step in securing the nation's future.